Hey guys, I just wanted to put a quick video out uh, to let you know the damnedest thing. This is so funny. Uh, I mean, it's funny, but it's not. It's part of the learning process. But the Monday in the gym, I asked this kid. He's a, big, he's a tall guy. He's a big kid. And he's about 6'2 and a half or 6'3. And uh, so I asked him, I said, hey, because I seen he was real fast. And I was like, hey, I want to, if you would, would you spar my kid? And my kid's not going to, Joe's not going to hit you. He's just going to move and try to bob and weave and parry and all this stuff. And the uh, kid told me, he said, well, yeah, but uh, I want him to hit me too, but we'll do, do real light sparring session i'm like yeah all right but i want you to light joe up light him up you know we need, he needs to move and uh i said this is not about us striking it's about us uh, him defending so anyway they uh he spars this kid tonight or earlier this afternoon and uh Oh, God, Joe's moving like Frankenstein, uh, just being real slow, deliberate. Uh, but I told Joe, I said, don't hit this kid. Don't, don't hit this kid. Uh, I said, you can give what you get. If he knocks the crap out of you, you want to pop him. I said, you can. I said, but don't give no more than around 20% of what you got. Just tap it. I said, that'll be enough. You just tap the guy. Your tap's a big punch. And we're in there, and the kid's like, this, this kid, you know, he's got to reach on Joe. He's a lot taller. He's a big boy. And I, I like this kid. This kid's a good, good boxer. Uh, but Joe's moving around like Frankenstein and bobbing and weaving and getting tagged and all. And... Uh, I don't know when the exact moment is, but Joe, I guess he tags Joe two or three times real quick. And, uh, oh boy, Joe popped him, and Joe didn't. He didn't get no more than 15, 20% of what he had, but it, boy, you heard that pow. And uh, <laughs> I'm out there, and I'm like, are you okay? And uh, Joe says, I'm okay, Dad. There ain't nothing wrong with me. I said, I'm not asking you. I'm asking the other kid. And uh, we've been laughing about that tonight. But Joe got some good experience in with this. Uh, it's real weird and awkward because Joe's just holding almost everything back. And, uh, of course, we're not going to be hopping up and down like Peter Rabbit in a boxing ring. It's just not what what Joe does, it's not what he's good at, he's, he's a good old fashioned slugger, uh, it's not the style that we even practice, although we do practice some other styles, uh, so he's going to be moving like, uh, Sonny Liston said, George Foreman, he's moving like Frankenstein, uh, but what Muhammad Ali said George Foreman was moving, but uh, so we're, we're not moving much better than that, but, uh, uh, he's got a lot of power in his punches, but, uh, they went, I guess, he, I guess the guy and his dad was thinking they would just tire Joe out. I was like, well, we'll do three, one and a half or two minute rounds. Cause that'd be an amateur round, uh, at, Joe's age, and that does is that four minute rounds, and I'm like, well, okay, you won't do it. And I'm thinking they were thinking that that's going to tire Joe out, but it ended up tiring the other guy. But uh, Joe was fine. He's like, let's do one more round. The other guy was no, nah, I've had enough. But they're going to spar again. It wasn't nothing real volatile, and it, uh, sparring doesn't need to be. Uh, too rough until you get right up uh, 
to a to a competition, you know. Uh, getting in there and knocking each other's heads silly is no benefit to nobody. Uh, although those things do happen, and, uh, but we're very pleased. I'm very pleased with uh, with Joe. I'm gonna try to. Uh, is kind of awkward. You can see and you can tell Joe's holding back and uh, other kids is welling on him. But when Joe starts popping back, it all suddenly stops and. Uh, uh, so I'm very proud. I've, I've always known the punching power that Joe's got. All these guys in this gym we go to, they know it too. And uh, uh, and his kid knew it. But I was like, Joe, hold this back, hold this back. And he held back. But the kid come out. And one thing I, I just haven't seen before is somebody released their sinuses. And... Uh, I know it happens, and I've seen it happen on uh, on video, but I've never seen it in person. But the kid, he come out, he pulled his mouthpiece out, and uh, his sinuses just released out of the mouth and the nose. So I know Joe tagged him, and uh, Joe wasn't even really hitting hard, so... We're just getting more affirmation to the punching power that's going on with us. We're never going to be able to uh, move like the Flash, but uh, and we're not trying to. But uh, very pleased with what we did. But it was a very awkward looking uh, ordeal. Uh, but I'll probably see if I can get it pieced together. And uh, one thing I won't do is just put Joe looking good. Up, up on there. I won't do that. We've put some videos up. I hadn't, haven't kept them up, but Joe getting his clock cleaned and everybody, uh, if you're getting into boxing and you think you this or that, you're going to get, you're going to get your bell rung. You're going to get lit up. And uh, that's just what happens. And you're always in a learning process. Don't everybody know nothing. One size don't fit all. And, uh, not in boxing it don't. You might be able to get on the football field and run a route a particular way and it work all the time, but boxing's not like that and, and these things don't work for everybody. But uh, we're now we're getting more in, into the, uh, getting some people to spar. We're going to be going to another gym where we'll be uh, doing some more sparring. We'll be going to both gyms. And uh, competitions coming up uh, towards the end of February and the beginning of March, and we're off, man. We're going up like a like a. Uh, now I say it like a rocket ship. I wasn't gonna say that. I was like, no, it's been said too many times. But uh, we're doing great, and we're very thankful for people watching us and uh, being so encouraging to Joe and uh, very, very grateful. Uh, peace to everybody, love to everybody, and remember, be nice online. Uh, it's not good to be behind a, compu a computer screen and putting other people down when uh, you wouldn't get in the ring yourself or haven't got in the ring yourself. Uh, you should, and nobody should, and a guy that gets in the ring is not going to be condemning another guy. 98% uh, of what you see of the chirping going on is fans, and, and the 2% you hear out of boxers chirping at each other is uh, ticket sales. So, don't believe everything that you see. But blessings to everybody. Nothing but love and peace to you. And uh, thank you so much. And we hope everybody has a good evening. Thank you so much for watching this video.